The days quickly flew by, fly by after you start your new life at Uva Academy. And then at last, the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. Attention all students, today marks the beginning of an important new assignment. Please assemble in the schoolyard, where I will explain more in detail. Hmm. It's time! Uh-huh. I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go out to the schoolyard. Sure. It's time. Well, see if I have anything in here that I need. Nope. Let's go. Where do I want to go? The schoolyard, obviously. Excellent. It seems everyone is here. Well, then it's time that I explained your independent study assignment. As usual, the theme will be a treasure hunt. I ask each of you to set out on travel the world in search of your own treasure. You've all learned much within the walls of our fine academy. But now it is time to turn your eyes upon the wider world and deepen your understanding. Explore Paldea's abundant nature. Soak in its rich culture. Discover Pokemon that live there. And get to know people too. Where will you travel? Who will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. Your journey together. Learn new things together. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. And find something you might always treasure. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. When you return to us as fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin. Onward. Hmm. Oh, well, yeah, it's time for the great outdoors. Come on, Cyclozar. We're riding out. <laughs> Take care, everyone. And remember, the great crater of Paldor is exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules. Hmm? What are you waiting for, Ty? Let's go. It's that kid. Tie sauce, tie. The treasure hunt is finally starting. What do they mean by treasure? Yeah, fair question since it's your first time. Come on, let's walk and talk. Walk and talk and walk and talk and walk and talk. Blah, blah, blah. 
The treasure hunt is a huge part of the Yuva Academy school year. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure necessarily. We're more just making our own adventures to see what experiences Aldea has got to offer. You could try beating Pokemon gyms. You could help out other people in need. You could hunt for real capital T treasure if you wanted to even. There's stuff we'd never learn sitting in a classroom, you know. This is our chance to learn it. Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. You and me sure got a battle if we run into each other out there. Hope you're ready. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Battling can wait. I meant to tell you. Did you know your phone's map app lets you set yourself destinations? You could try setting one on one of the gyms or as you, your destination. I had to get you on your way easy. How's that for a student council president? Giving your own friends an insider advantage. Uh, Arvin. Insider advantage? Sheesh. You make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did was suggest that he check out the gyms. It's up to Ty wh whether he goes. Ty Sauce is going to have his hands full searching out Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't even have time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rank. Me and him are going to be too busy visiting the, the lairs of Titans and nabbing their Herba Mystica. And Sero, don't go filling his head with weird stories. Hey, all I did was invite him along. It's still up to Ty Sauce whether he goes, right? Uh, hmm? Phone's ringing. Tysos, Casopia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star is made up of five individual squads, and each one has got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Team Star's grunts might try to get in your way, but I'll be helping you out from a distance. And heads up. That the bosses each specialize in a different Pokemon type. Just remember the names of their crew and you'll figure it out. Still no need to worry. With your skill, I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I'll just go ahead and add the base locations to your phone for you. Oh boy. Team Star bases have been added to your map. Starfall Street. Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait one second. Who are you supposed to be? And Team Star, those punks are serious hazard. They're not Ty Sauce's problem. That's right, because he's got more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to Ty Sauce to decide whether he goes or not. Wasn't that what you said, Nimona? And Arvin? How do you know my... I'll be looking forward to seeing what you can pull off, Ty. Goodbye. What was that about? Ty Sauce, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here. Try not getting dragged into anything dangerous. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got a big adventure to start. I'm going to battle every single Pokemon trainer I meet. If I just keep battling to become the strongest, I bet that experience will be the thing I treasure. Guess I'll start by heading to a gym and training up some new Pokemon. Here, I'll send you a pic of what the gym buildings look like. Oh, and I know we've been running our, our mouse, but it's your call what you do, Ty. Go where you want and do what is really what you want to do most. Hmm. A treasure of our very own. For me, 
It's got to be more my big dream of tracking down the Herbal Mystica, that is. Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you had in your life. That's good, because somebody owes me a goddamn sandwich. Yeah, I heard sandwich. Yeah, you're the one who owes me the sandwich, asshole. Oh, what did you come out for? Oh, my gosh. Did it just come out because he said sandwich? <laughs> uh, yeah, I heard sandwich. Well, you're not getting one. Ah. Uh, You'll give me a sandwich, right? Uh, you owe me a sandwich. Seems like it wants to start moving. Is it telling you to get on, Ty? Press this, the plus button. When you're on, ready, you can press B to have a jump, allowing you to leap over obstacles in your path. Cool. Hey, get off me. Whoa, it transformed. Now it really looks like some kind of weird cyclozar. As long as you got them right on, you can go pretty much anywhere. All day is your cloister. Yeah, maybe. Well, if you're going to search for those Titans, I'd say get out there from the east. I'd set out from the east gate. But since Tysos is actually headed to take on some gems, I'd say I'd go for the West Gate. Besides, it's way too easy to get lost out east. Man, this is why I can't get along with you. I'm out of here. Catch up soon, little buddy. I'll head to a gym. See you around, Tysos. Zoom, zoom. Treasure hunt has finally begun. This special event is all about right. Zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> oh. Zoom. Okay, so supposedly there are some things that you, you can still do at the school while you're here. Supposedly. Aha, ha, look at that. Biology, director's, nurse's office, and the classrooms. So let's go to the biology lab first. Let's see what's up there. Oh, hello, hello. Have you gotten used to the things here at the Academy Thai Sauce? Yeah. Great. Glad to see you having fun. Oh, have you been using the Pokedex app? I, um, uh, <laughs> I'm the one who made it, you know. Every time someone using the app catches a Pokemon, that data gets sent to me. It's really helping with my Pokemon research. So be sure to catch any new Pokemon you find and work on filling in your Pokedex. For your first call, let's aim for, say, 30. Register 30 Pokemon in your app. Let me know once you've done so. I see you've already registered 30 species of Pokemon to your Pokedex for me. Wow. So you caught this kind of Pokemon? And this one, I'll just... That is the best. I'm oh, sorry about that. I got a little excited there. But I get the feeling that you're going to be a great help in my Pokemon research. Here, take these. Consider it my way of saying thanks. I got false swipe. That's good. I like that. You sure are good at catching Pokemon, aren't you, Ty Sauce? Let's aim for a hundred species. Remember, when you find a Pokemon you've never seen before, give a Pokemon a throw. Yeah. 
Wow. Okay, let's go to the director's office. Oh, why, hello, Master Tice Sauce. How's your treasure hunting coming along? Having all sorts of fun adventures, I hope. Yeah, it's been going great. Wonderful, I'm glad to hear it. Do keep in mind that the treasure hunt has no set course or criteria you must follow. Simply go where your heart takes you, and you shall do splendidly. Hmm? Speaking of such pursuits, there has been something on my mind as of late. I could ask for your expertise on the matter. I would be most grateful. You see... I recently heard a word whose meaning escapes me. I believe it to be some sort of slang. Tell me, what does Chuegi mean? Uh, I think it's the bottom one, but that's a, that's a word I don't know. We use Raleigh to describe someone who's out of date or trying too hard. Okay. Ah, oh. oh, I think I understand. For both speaker and recipient, it's not a pleasant word, I take it. The words used by young people these days are quite often behind my comprehension. <laughs> Excuse me. But when I learn the meanings behind the words, I find that I feel much closer to my students. I'm most grateful for your help on that front. I become closer to Director Clavel. Oh boy. I think the only other one is... The nurse's office. Oh, you're a cutie. Hi there, come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. What brings you here today? I don't see anything super wrong with you or your Pokemon. Wait, this is your first time here, isn't it? Uh huh. So I guess you transferred in recently. You must be Thai sauce, right? Everyone's been talking about you. I heard all kinds of rumors. Apparently you fell off a cliff right after enrolling in the academy. You even picked a fight with Team Star. Oh yeah, you started your treasure hunt thing, right? Come tell me about anything super interesting you find out in your adventures. I'm kind of bored sitting in here all day. You know, I don't have any classes to teach, and the students only come here to skip class. So, yeah, try by if you can. Deal? Deal. <laughs> okay, bye. Let's see if I if there's anything I can do in the classroom. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's go to the entrance hall and let's get out of here. Oh, hey, hold on. Master Ty, what class would you like to take? Uh, let's go biology. Yes. Let's take some classes. I did say that this one is where I really go to the school, so 
I'm at school. Hello, hello. My name is Jacques. I'll be a Pokemon biology teacher. In my class, we'll learn all about various quirks of our beloved Pokemon together. I hope you all come to love Pokemon even more from the things you learn here. I'll teach you a great way to get to know Pokemon more in depth. If you'd like to become better friends with your Pokemon, you can let them come out of your Pokemon and walk along with you. Sounds great, huh? ZR button to put a Pokemon. Let, po let the Pokemon out inside. Nothing cuter than watching your Pokemon run around a foot. Ask me. Once you let them out, try speaking to them. They're sure to respond in some way. It's a great way to know them better. Letting out your po letting your Pokemon out of its ball isn't a great idea in some locations. Can anyone tell me where where it is you shouldn't have your Pokemon walk along with you? Inside buildings. That's all right. Great job, Ty Sauce. I see you did your homework. The correct answer is we should not walk with our Pokemon indoors. How about that? Some Pokemon might damage walls, desks, and other things walking around inside buildings. So it's not allowed regardless of the species. Therefore, please only let your Pokemon out of their Pokeballs the all outdoors, okay? I think I see them out, them out and about in the classroom from time to time, but still. Anyway, you may become even closer friends with your Pokemon pals by walking together. Keep in mind that you can only walk together with your lead Pokemon. You'll also want to remember that throwing a ball at a wild Pokemon will start a battle. Looks like that's all the time we have for today. Goodbye! Doo -doo -doo. All right, let's see here. Let's take maths with Miss Time. Wah, Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. My name is Time, and I'll be your math tutor. Sorry to put you all on the spot at the start of class, but let me ask you a quick question. Do you enjoy your numbers, arithmetic, and the like? No, really. Sort of hair. Oh my. <laughs> Thank you for your honest responses. Some of you may like numbers and some may not. I think that makes a wonderful mix. But no matter your opinion on math, I hope you find yourselves enjoying our lessons together. I do, uh, I'll do my best to find a good way to match up your interest with all math types of math lessons. Speaking of which, you're all caught up on your studies of Pokemon type matchups. For example, grass is strong against water, and water is strong against fire. You seem to be good with Pokemon, so let me ask you this. Bearing in mind water is strong against fire, if the move Water Gun hits a fire-type Pokemon, what becomes of the move's damage? It's doubled. That's right. I knew I could count on you for this question. Using moves... Of a type of that your opponent is weak to is a super effective tactic and multiplies the damage of those moves by two. On the other hand, using a move that your opponent is resistant isn't that very effective. Divides it by two. Ah, uh, but I don't mean to encroach on this dangerous battle states territory, of course. But I thought it best and lively topic as an example. That can make math fun, even for those of you who don't think that don't like the subject. At the bell, I suppose that's all for now. What a shame. Look forward to seeing you all in the next class. Uh, let's try. Let's try home ec. With Mr. Sagaro. Must be the uh, kitchen aide.
do. I see we have some energetic young ones in. Or actually, no, hold on. <clears throat> I see we have some energetic young ones in our class this time around. You may call me Mr. Sakagaro. Your time here with me will be spent obtaining knowledge and skill indispensable for daily life. Many of you have left the care of your parents to live here on your own in the academy dormitory. I pray that the knowledge I impart to you will improve the quality of your lives and the necessities thereof, food, clothing, and shelter. Of these three categories, I assume most of the most pressing and interesting for you all is food. When you eat sandwiches on your picnics, the HP of your party Pokemon will be restored. You will also gain something called Mill Powers, which can provide all manner of benefits. For example, these powers can make Pokemon easier to catch or increase the XP points that your Pokemon receive. I think you will also find that the bread of the the breadth of these effects can be expanded by crafting sandwiches of superb flavor. What's more, there is a certain something that is a particularly important if we wish to receive meal powers with even more hopeful helpful effects. Let me see, Master Tai Sauce. Tell me, what must your you keep in mind? to receive even more helpful meal powers. Put my heart into it how fast I can prepare. Mm. I'm gonna go with choice of filling and condiments. Perfectly correct, Master Tai Sauce. Perhaps you were already aware of this fact from having helped your family with cooking at home. Your choice of ingredients, including both filling and condiments, is an important factor in gaining even more helpful meal powers. For example, using sweet ingredients in your sandwiches may help in you gain egg power, including numerous bitter ingredients, on the other hand, can gain you item drop power. Learning to aim for specific effects when crafting sandwiches will almost certainly make your culinary endeavors more enjoyable. Please be aware, however, that you can also receive meal powers by eating rest at restaurants. I must say that I would I'd feel the utmost joy if you all learned as much here in my class and came to better understand home economics. Our time together has come to an end for today. I bid you adieu. <laughs> That voice hurts. <laughs> ah! There's a spooky ghost. Is it nighttime? It's nighttime. Huh. Let's go. I know there is a Pokemon Center over here somewhere. <laughs> oh boy.
There we go. There's one. Oh, that's the one outside the city. There's one down here. Zoom, zoom. Did this send me outside? 